has come marching home again, John Philip Sousa takes up the baton as all Washington turns out for a hero's welcome. And the cheers of the crowd mingle with a tune from the man who marched into the hearts of a million Americans. John Philip Sousa, we salute you. Play your notes as you, as you see them there. Or bring them right up and accent the notes. You right? One, two. Oh, come on, come on. Can't you count two beats in a bar? <coughs> All right, we'll just watch it as you go. This is the only town band that you would call a town band between Tron and Barry and points north, I imagine. And we have them from Bradford, Keswick, from Sutton, from Markham, and we have them from the city of Toronto. came to Newmarket in the fall of 1930. And uh, just about the time that I did come here, they had a band in Aurora, I had one in Orangeville, all around the country. There's none of them now. Because, you see, the bands in those areas have fallen by the wayside. They've gone.
welcome you all here this day to pay respect to those friends and relatives of ours that have passed on. I think it gives us a chance to reflect on cherished memories and to renew old acquaintances and to fully appreciate the friends that we still have with us. Thank you. Now we shall join together in singing the first of the hymns on the sheet, O God, our help in ages past. decisions to make as well as anybody else when you're out in front of here. I want to try it. It's not as easy as it looks. But I'm very pleased with the dress today. It looks very good. I hope to see you on some of your future parades, okay? And attention! Turn right this way! I don't think I'm going to be able to make it back down. Right. Uh, if you go to a double-breasted semi-military garment, and you're wearing it closed to make it look neat. You've got a pretty contrived chest and underarm area, and it's gonna be warm regardless of the weight of the fabric. But if you go to an open shawl collar, which is usually cut much lower than a blazer style, you have a lot of air passing in through the, the chest area of the jacket, and it'll be an awful lot more comfortable. Superman. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can think of many things, but I'll only say Superman. Who would like to, uh, oh, that here. particular one you're looking at? Uh, maybe seventy dollars. I don't like that for the jacket. Twenty-two for the pants. Comes pretty close to that hundred every time. Yeah. Get the bloody things. That's right. For guys, I'm not going to wear a tie. We'll have to deal with it at the time. So we're you in know, a situation something? of needing money. Don't and matter when that band goes on the street. I'm the first guy in this band hall. I'm here. No, that's not the point. And I'm one of the guys who should say whether we should wear these stupid ties or not. I'll buy the ties. You no. know, we're talking peanuts here. Can I have uh, your attention? I think we'd better end this discussion. We've decided on shirts and ties. 
and 10 pair of pants. Uh, we settle this tonight. There's no further discussion. Thank you. That's, <laughs> that's it. Council and Committee of the Whole, we have a, a band grant every year that comes at budget time that we have to uh, give out $7,500 to the bands in Newmarket. Are there any questions about band grants? Uh, I feel that if they want more money, they would come back to us and we'd have to go back to the people. I think the band's out of date, old fashioned. Well, maybe to the younger generation. Like, maybe not to your generation. Thank you very much. Okay. They're just wonderful. They can't be beat. Just what we want here. I, I couldn't really care less. They're, they're sad. They're what? They're sad. They're hackers. And I think that our citizens' band is certainly worth what is being spent. Okay, motion duly moved and seconded. <laughs> that we approve of the $7,500 grant to the town bands. Beautiful.